taking a look at questions five through seven on the 8.4 puzzle time. Um, it says to identify the solid that is described. So when you're looking at these questions, five, six, and seven is what we're going to work on, um, they give you some information. So it says two parallel square bases and four lateral faces that are also squares. So there's going to be some inform important information in there. Looking at the next one, uh, it says two parallel rectangular bases. The base is rectangular. And then it says that the uh, four lateral faces are rectangles. The next one, we have one triangle base and three lateral faces that are triangles. And our base was a triangle as well. Um, so using that information, we can figure out what kind of shape it is. I'm going to go to the next page real quick to show you a couple of different shapes. So these are both rectangular um, shapes. One is a rectangular prism and one is a rectangular um, pyramid. So this is a prism. And if you notice, the lateral faces... I'm going to highlight those in green. The lateral faces are rectangles, whereas the lateral faces of the pyramid are triangles. So if it had if it says that the lateral faces are triangles, you're going to say that it's a pyramid. If the lateral faces are rectangles, it's a prism. So if it's square and square, the only thing that's making is a cube. So we're going to say letter M for number five. Okay. And then we have rectangular. So it's going to be either R or I. But then it says that it is rectangles. And rectangles, as you remember, were prisms. So it's going to be a rectangular prism, which is letter R. Okay, and our last question, number seven, that we're going to work on, it says triangular. So we have a couple of different options, a triangular prism or a triangular pyramid. But it says that your, so triangular, it says that your lateral wall, uh, lateral faces are triangles. So when we look over here, the ones that are triangles are pyramids. So we're going to go with a triangular pyramid, which is letter G. Okay, and then you're going to plug those down into the riddle below. And that is it for questions 5, 6, and 7. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.